Morning guys, so this week's vlog is gonna be somewhat of a self-care vlog. It's gonna be like a pamper routine, what I do in the winter time just to keep myself looking A1, looking snatched, looking done. And so right now I'm about to go get my nails done. I'm not even gonna show you guys what they look like because it's honestly at this point disrespectful. My mom even said, she was like, you need to get a fill. And I was like, girl, this is my real nails. I'm about to go get a gel manicure. And then after that, I'm gonna do a little bit of retail therapy, you know, helping out the economy. I need to go pick up a prescription and I'm hoping that they're actually open because I'm not sure if the pharmacies opens on Sundays. Okay guys, so I just got back from getting my nails done. I'm gonna show you guys. I went with like a nude-ish type of color. The sun is really hitting though, I'm not gonna lie. But I went with like a nude color. Very cute, these are my real nails. Uh, very Olivia Pope. I have an audit this week, so I was trying to do something like businessy. But yeah guys, my nails are done. And then I just stopped at the pharmacy to pick up my prescriptions where I got um, retinol A, and then I also got some hydrocoinoin. I had to get my dermatologist to prescribe me something because I have been trying to work on my skincare this entire quarantine and like, for the most part, my skin, like you can't see an acne pimple. This is from my period that I had last week. But for the most part, I don't have any like acne really. I just have a scarring that I'm trying to work on. So these are both gonna help with the scarring. And and I got a coupon actually, cause the hydroquinoin without insurance, insurance doesn't usually cover it cause it's considered like a cosmetic. It's pretty expensive, but I pulled up good RX and my actually my dermatologist told me to pull up go direct and she's like you might get a discount so originally it's supposed to be 150 but i'm getting it for 39 dollars tell me that it's not a steal i need to put some chapstick on because i can't be talking to y'all with like these lips being like this but they're not sure if they have it right now but i'm gonna wait and see if they do they said they're gonna text me i have a facial scheduled for tuesday which i'm extremely excited about because i don't think i've had a facial this entire year if I did have one, it was in the beginning of the year, like right before lockdown, but I honestly don't think that I did. I don't think I did. If Actually, I did have one. I think I had one in April around my birthday month, but I need to get a new one. She needs to get rid of this. I just feel congested. I feel like I'm getting mass acne, so like I need to just get cleared on out. So I'm going for a, um, just a deep, deep, deep tissue one. So hopefully I'll be able to vlog that for you guys, but... Besides that, I'm um, I gonna do my hair. Um, but yeah, just basically self-care, just doing all the things you need to do to take care of yourself. So guys, part of my, um, you know, just like self-care routine is definitely visiting one person. So guess who I'm with? I'm supposed to be a surprise, but he kind of just put himself in the lens. You wanna say hi? I had to come see my best friend. Say hello. It's kind of camera shy. He doesn't like to look in the camera, but this is definitely part of my self-care routine. He's like my um, support animal, a little care bear. Y'all, what is up? So today I'm about to just go and get a facial. I have to take off my makeup. So I had firm pictures today, so I need to wear makeup to look good, but now I need to take it off before I go in just because I feel like that's all gonna get, um... I'm sorry, I'm looking for my makeup wipes, which I don't find. I, I keep makeup wipes in my car for this purpose specifically, but for some reason I'm not finding them. Hold on one sec. Y'all, so I just realized that I actually took out my makeup wipes um, because I was running out of them and I actually brought them to my bathroom, so I can't take my makeup off before I go in. But hopefully she has makeup wipes for me to remove my stuff. Anyways, guys, I'm about to go in for my facial and I'll see you guys inside. All right, guys, so I'll show you what my facial looks like when I get back home. Right now, I needed to stop really quickly um, at the grocery store, so I just need to get some salad, but it looked pretty good. It felt pretty good, so I need to look in the mirror before I tell you guys my final results. Okay, guys, so I just got back home. I look crazy. Like, my hair's all frizzy because of laying on the bed. I'm actually going to put these... Um, eye mask on from Mary Kay. My Mary Kay consultant sent me. There's like hydro mask. 
Um, so I'm gonna put these on really quick. I'm gonna tie my hair up in like a messy bun and I'll be right back for a second. Okay guys, I just needed to put my hair up because it was like a mess. So this is what my skin looks like after the facial. I'm not gonna lie, it feels really soft. I'm gonna wash my hands really quickly. The lady actually gave me a discount because I'm her neighbor and she like advertised that if anybody visited her, she would give them a discount. So I actually got 20% off. But here are the Mary Kay Hydro eye patches. I'm just gonna put these under my eyes, guys, because like, I feel like I'm getting dark circles and we're not really, sorry, this smells really good. We're not really here for it. If I showed you guys what my counter looks like, you'd be like, what is going on? Okay, so these are what the gel things look like. They're like soaping with moisture. I'm gonna put them, some people put the thick part over here and the small part over there, I don't know why, but I'm gonna put the thick part here and the small part on the other side. You're supposed to leave these on your face for like 20-ish minutes. Okay, let's not drop it. So, okay. So there's one of them on. I don't know, should I put it on the other way? Let's see. I feel like they're supposed to go on. Yeah, the thick part is actually supposed to go on the outside. So I put this on wrong. Okay, this is supposed to be over here. This one's supposed to be over here. Gosh, like you can tell like I never put these on. And the thing is I actually ordered a comp like a bulk of these. She sent me free ones because she didn't know I was gonna order from her, but I actually ended up ordering a bulk set of these because i feel like they're sliding down my eye i just need to get it okay guys this is as good as it's gonna get i'm gonna leave these on my face it says to leave them on for 20 minutes so that's what i'm gonna do i actually got a package you guys hold on let me show you I just want to make sure there's no address on here. So I got this huge package. Tiara Walker, she's a YouTuber on here. I have been following her for years. I actually won on one of her giveaways and she sent me a bunch of luxury products. So I'm going to open them up and show you guys what she sent me. So excited. It actually came yesterday, but I wanted to film for you guys. And I didn't have time to film yesterday. So I'm going to film and open it up for you guys right now. Ooh. So this is what it looks like when you open it inside. Okay, let me just pull the first thing out. Oh, okay, so the first thing is this like cloth bag. This is a really nice mustard color, I like this. There's this BH Cosmetics little jar holder. You probably put pens or something in here, it's glittery. And then she sent me some Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enrich Face Base. This is an all-in-one primer moisturizer. I've never had any products by Bobbi Brown, so I'm excited to try this out. Let me open it, see what it looks like. Oh, this is a good size. Yeah, so this is what the Bobbi Brown face thing looks like. A set of brushes by BH Cosmetics, which I don't actually have a white set of brushes. I have black and silver, so this will come in handy. Yes, I guess this was a collection, so I feel like they go inside of here. If that makes sense. You guys, these things keep falling. Okay, she also sent me this little pouch baggie right here. And this is from Fresh Beauty, the pouch. In the pouch, she sent me the Charlotte Tilbury palette. Ooh, I don't have any products by Charlotte Tilbury. This is what this looks like, if you guys can see that. Another product by Bobbi Brown. So this is the Lux Gilded Highlighter. So this just looks like this. And then... It looks like that. That's the color she sent me. KK Beauty product. I don't have any KK Beauty products. I have a bunch of Kylie, but no KK Beauty. So she sent me the Blush Duo in Classic Paint. So it has matte and a shimmer. And this just looks like this. And then she sent me another Charlotte Tilbury product. So this is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Micro Powder. And this is in the color 3 Tan. Oh, this is what the casing looks like. So this could be like a setting powder for under my concealer because this is like a little light. Even though she did message me on Instagram so she does know what I look like. By the way, if you're not following me on Instagram. Okay, and then she sent me some lip products by Buxom. So this is the Plumping Lip Gloss. Just looks like that. 
And then she also sent me one of their lip liners and this is in the color Incognito. She sent me a Fruit Fetish Strawberry Lemonade Lip Balm by Milani. So she sent me um, actually three of the Buxom lip glosses. I think this is one of the ones she uses all the time. So she sent me a couple of these. And then she sent me this Kate Somerville Goat Milk Cleanser. I've never tried her products before, but I've heard good things. And then she sent me this Cali Contour Smashbox Palette. So this just looks like this. She sent me this coconut setting powder by Siete. I actually have their mascara, which is pretty good. She sent me a liquid liner by Ofra. Pop Beauty um, Matte Lip Paint, and this is in Rouge. So it just looks like that. And then she sent me the last item um, by Soyol uh, de Janeiro, and they make that um, body butter stuff. And this is actually a roll-on perfume. So, I've never smelled it before. Actually, this is a spray. Ooh, that smells really good. This smells expensive, so I'm definitely gonna just put this in my wallet. It has like a vanilla-y coconut um, scent to it. Okay guys, so those are all the products that she sent me. Today is a Tuesday night, and if you guys know what that means, if you're part of Bachelor Nation, it's a bachelor night. Bachelorette comes on in about an hour. So I'm gonna like shower and everything and then I'll check back in with you guys a little bit later. Y'all, so I got my meal right here and I'm watching the bachelorette, y'all. I think Bennett, I don't know if you guys have been catching up. I think Bennett's about to go home. Like at first his like demeanor and like his jabs and stuff were like very savage mode, very 21 savage. Um, They're funny, but like now, it's going to be very cringy, and I honestly think he's going to go home. The way Tasha's demeanor is towards him compared to Noah, she's very more soft and affectionate with Noah, and I think that she doesn't like Bennett deep down because he's kind of like low-key aggressive like during the painting day and everything. I don't know if you guys have been watching, but Tasha's become my favorite bachelorette. She's actually responded to me a couple of times on Instagram. Um, but like I love Rachel Lindsay, love what she did, but like Tasha is like bringing it, especially in comparison to Claire, because that was a whole situation. I'm gonna continue watching it. I'm gonna eat my salad and I'll chat back in with you guys maybe at the end of the episode. So guys, I am just working on a brand video for some content that I have to upload tomorrow, and I just finished watching The Bachelorette. <laughs> that episode was crazy. Um at first, when I saw the preview, I thought that her fiancé was going to show up. I did not know that Bennett was going to show up. I feel like... I feel like he might get sent home again the second time. I don't know why she kept Noah. I don't think he's attractive physically or emotionally. I really like Brendan. He's very soft-spoken. I love his eye contact. I don't think she's going to keep Riley. I think the top ones are Zach. Brandon, Ben, and Ivan. But I don't know if she's going to end up keeping Ivan. I definitely do not think that... Um, who's the guy that's like the wild forest, whatever, ranger? I don't know what his name is, but I definitely think he's going home. I don't understand why Ed is still there. <laughs> I'm excited for next week's two back-to-back -back episodes. I'm hoping that they bring Claire. They didn't seem to show her. This is going to be it for today, guys. And I'll check back in with you guys later on in the week. Yo, so I just got my eyebrows done. She did a pretty good job. I actually went to someone different this time and I was so scared. I literally had to sit her down and be like, ma'am, please. I got them tinted too, but I'll let you guys know um, what they look like maybe tomorrow-ish. Surprisingly though, I think she did like a better job than the lady I usually go to because the lady I usually go to puts too much tint on there. So I look like I'm like, like I just put too much makeup on. These look pretty good. Okay guys, so I just got back. This is what they look like. They look pretty good. She had a little spot there, but I'm gonna take a shower and everything. I guess this pretty much wraps up my little pamper routine. These are the necessities. Sorry, I have to pee really bad. One sec. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I was gonna pee on myself. This pretty much is like all the things that I do when I need to get 
myself together when I need to feel like I'm somebody, like I'm that. Like I'm that person. And my nails, eyebrows. I usually straighten my hair, but I had to film some content for um, my yell, so I wasn't able to straighten my hair this time because I needed my hair curly. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below in the comment section what things that you do um, for your pamper routine, especially with like the holidays and stuff coming up. Let me know. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not following me on Instagram. You're missing out. You really are. But anyways, guys, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Can never be mad at you.